Good afternoon and welcome to another lesson on by Mr. Ong Math Lesson. And today we are going to learn how to factorize quadratic. In the first video on factorizing quadratic, I taught you a method. And now we are going to learn the second method. It's called the trial and error method or the bubble or the X method. So this step is the most convenient, the fastest way, but you need to be able to do the steps in a logical way. So the steps are as follows. Break the equation into three different blocks. You are going to find all the factors of the first and the last block. You are going then to mult cost multiply the result and add the results on the right. If the addition gives the answers in a middle expression, then you got the answer, stop. If not, try again, and that's why it is called the trial and error method. Then the last thing, you're going to put the two brackets, and then you have factorized the expression. We shall look at four examples from the NCA. The first one is from the 2016 NCA, paper one, and we are going to look at it. Okay, so step one, you are going to make three different blocks. So the first block is on the first one, the second one is minus two, and your job is to find the middle expression. If there's no number, you have to make sure that the answer is minus one. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find all the factors of x squared. Two numbers that multiply to give x squared, there's only one possibility, x and x. So very simple. Next step, you are going to find all the factors that multiply to give you negative two. So it can be two possibility, negative two and positive one, or it could be uh, positive 2, negative 1. So we're going to try an error. So we're going to try the first one. We're going to put negative 2 and positive 1. So now the next step, if you remember, we are going to cross multiply. Okay. When we cross multiply, and we're going to get the answer. So x multiplied by 1 is going to be 1x. x multiplied by negative 2 is going to be negative 2x. And the last step you're going to do is you're going to add the two numbers on the right. Add them up. Minus 2x plus 1x gives you negative 1x. So if this number is the same as that number, then we got the answer. So what you do now, we are going to put a bracket around the numbers. So you're going to put a bracket here and a bracket there. And write out the answer. You're going to be x minus 2x plus 1 and that is how you factorize a quadratic expression. It is a fast way of doing this. So we shall do a second example. The second example is also from the 2016 NCA, and this is paper two, and we are going to try again. So if you remember, step one is going to be put a bubble or block, first block, second block, and your objective is to find the middle value plus 5x. So again, x squared is simple. You are going to put x and x. And the factors of 36 minus 36, one had to be a positive, one had to be a negative. Because to get a minus, one number had to be multiply them. A positive, negative answer, we have one positive and one negative answer. So now it's a bit tricky now. So your job is to find Two numbers that multiply to give you 36. There are many. 2, 18, 6, 6, 4, 9, and so forth. So we shall try 9 and 4. 9 and 4. Okay? So there are many possibilities, so you have to be careful. So we try 9 and 4. So x times 9, the next thing you do a cross multiply, x times 9 is plus 9x. And then x times minus 4 is minus 4x. And the last step you're going to do, you're going to add the two numbers together on the right-hand side. So 9x minus 4x is going to be positive 5x. So the last thing you need to know is you see whether the number in over here, is it the same as here? If they are the same, you got the answer. And then you just put a bracket on it. And then you're going to write the answer out. x plus 9 bracket, x minus 4. And that is how you factorize using the trial and error method. Okay, good. Now we are going to do a slightly more difficult. Now is the 2018 NCA exam. Now we have 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. 
this is slightly different because now we have a 3 instead of x squared so we have more possibility so step 1 again we are going to put it into block okay and your objective is to find the middle number as 2x so the first thing again you are going to put in the possible factors of 3x squared so the only possible factors is 3x multiplied by x so negative 8 means one of the answer has to be a positive and the other answer has to be a negative. So there are many possibilities. It could be 8, 1, 4, minus 2 or whatever. So now we are going to try an error. So we are going to put 2 and minus 4. And we are going to try it out. So if we have 4 minus 2, if we try it out. So x times 2x, 2 times x is 2x. And then 3x times minus 4 is minus 12x. You add them up, it's minus 10x. It's not the same. So we have to try again. The next possibility, we're going to try 3x and x. And then we are going to put negative 4 and positive 2. When you multiply them, so we're going to try again. So x multiplied by minus 4 is minus 4x. And then 3x times 2 is going to be 6x. If you add them up together, it's going to be plus 2x. And that's what you get, 2x. So that's right. So the next step you're going to do, you're going to put a bracket around it. So the answer is going to be 3x minus 4x plus 2. So this is the type of question. It's called trial and error. Okay, good. So finally, we are going to do... And 2018 paper 2 so I repeat again step 1 do a bubble so you are going to get the first bubble second bubble and you are going to try to find the middle expression which is plus 13x so we are lucky 3x squared there's only one possibility 3x and x think about it before you get the 13 how you get 13 uh, we try negative 2 and positive 5. Try it out. Not sure, just try it out. If you don't get it right, try again. So x times negative 2 is negative 2x. 3x times 15 is positive 15x. The last step you're going to do, you're going to add them up. So if you add them up, 15x minus 2x is going to be plus 13x. And we are lucky. That number and that number coincide. And then we can conclude it by putting a bracket. And the answer is going to be 3x minus 2 and the last one x plus 5. This is how you factorize a quadratic. This is called the trial and error method. Some of them call it the bubble method. Some of them call the cross multiply method. It's the same and this is the fastest way to factorize a quadratic. Of course, there are many ways to factorize a quadratic. Choose the way that you think is most comfortable and if you are happy with that, well done, okay? So, have a good day and practice until you become good in factorizing any quadratic equation. Thank you. Bye-bye.